Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, as you can see, I have finally finished uh, these four funny books I was working on that I thought that I would have finished this past weekend, but it didn't happen. So, um, but when you see this video, they will be up in the shop and available for you to purchase if you're interested. Um, anyway, I hope, um, I hope everybody's doing well. And um, if you're new here, welcome. And thank you for watching. If you are a um, subscriber that's been with me for a while, thank you for sticking with me and continuing to watch and um, all that good stuff. So, these are all four pretty much um, the same as far as they all have the scrappy tie. They all have the charms. Um, there are similar items on the charms, but they're all a little different. Um, they're all the same size except for Grandpa Bunny. I kept the actual um, spine of the other three, Grandpa Grandpa Bunny, I had to do some work on. He was too damaged to do that. So, Grandpa Bunny is actually six by eight, and these are like six and a quarter. These are actually, yeah, six and a quarter by eight. Okay. So, um, anyway, I'm going to flip through one of them um, pretty extensively. And then the other ones, I'm just going to try to do a fairly quick flip through of uh, so that we're not here all day. And if you're interested, you can go check them out in the shop. Um, there'll be some pictures in the listings. So for each one, I did a scrappy tie, of course. Um, they're similar. This one and Cottontail have the same fabrics, and then Whispering Rabbit and Grandpa Bunny have some of the same fabrics in them. I didn't put any of the pink, any of the pink um, gingham on these. I just felt like it needed more of these sort of colors that went with these books. Um, anyway, that's what I did. So, so you got the scrappy tie. And got the charm. So each one does have this little wood bunny. They have vintage buttons. They have some glass beads. Um, they each have this little bunny. And then they each have one of these little silver hearts. And I thought I put, did I put, they each have a little chicken. I had a bunch of those little chickens and then the little blue turtle and then some of them have um one of them has a ladybug one of them has a mushroom i didn't have enough of those to put them on all of them but still fun little charm chunky but not um not super super chunky like some of the ones i've done in the past but still a lot of fun and then plenty of space if you want to add your own things to and then in the back of each one there's a pack of some fabric things, some washi, fabric washi. There's like three little um, fabric ruffles, which are different in each one. There's a little fabric tab with buttons. There's the pom-pom trim that I think would be absolutely adorable on these because they look like the little, you know, like the little white bunny tails. So I think that would be absolutely adorable on each one of these. But for these, I didn't do, um, I kept these blank, okay? There are tags that I've made and things like that in here that I've just paper clipped in. Um, and I've, I've got you a bunch of goodies to play with here, but I thought I would leave them fairly blank so that you can do your own thing to them, okay? So, um, so you'll get the, You'll get the trim, get the pom-pom trim. And for this one, I'm gonna take this out. And all these items are similar, yet not exactly the same. Okay, some of the washi tapes is sticking there. So there'll be two fabric yo-yos in each pack. 
There's a little fabric tab with buttons in this one. These are the little ruffles for this one, okay? There's a thin strip of this, um, this fabric sort of ribbon washi, which is really cool. And then there's a piece of this washi tape, which is a ribbon washi that I made. And then you'll get, each one of these is a little bit different. This is a scrap piece of a tie that I made and I cut it up in pieces so that you can take, you can take these and make your own tabs, okay? So you can cut these and make tabs. You can make this a belly band. You can add things to it, make a snippet roll. That kind of, that's the kind of idea that I had. And each one's a little bit, the fabrics are not all the same on each one, but they, they go with the books, okay? So there's all that, the pom-pom, and then there's a piece of this really pretty blue lace, a piece of this real pretty um, white lace, a piece of this pink lace, I had a bunch of that, so I thought I would share some of that. And then each one has a little piece of this um, of this fabric that has the bunnies on it. I think two of them have two bunnies and two of them just have one bunny on it with the little flowers. I thought this would be adorable as a pocket. And I put a piece of pink linen um, behind each one so you can put those together as a pocket, you can make a double pocket. You can make, do this over like this. Um, you can put it in the front of the book, somewhere in the middle of the book. Then you'll get a piece of this really pretty blue fabric. And I got strings everywhere. Cause y'all know I don't cut my fabric most of the time I just tear it. So get a piece of this pretty blue. And then a piece of this pretty sort of seersucker gingham in the Easter color, in you know Easter colors. But you don't have to use these; you can use your own things. So one reason why I did this, I did this like this, so you can decide, you can decide what you want in your journal. Okay. So each one has a pack of goodies like that, and this little really cool plastic sleeve, which is also. Um, very usable for in the book as a pocket. And then um, each one comes with a folder that I made with the scraps left over from uh, some of the paper. There's a library pocket. There's two little coin envelopes. There's two pieces of stationery in here. I don't usually do all this, but I want you to see everything that's in here. Um, each one comes with a little board book piece. One of them's flowers. One of them has bunnies. I think that's in the Whispering Rabbit. Um, this one has the birds, and I can't remember what the other one is, but they're all cute. And this is this does kind of serve as a writing space for you, or you can cover it up and make a big tag out of it, add photos, whatever you want. And then in here, there's tons of ephemera in here. There's uh, playing cards. Two of them have bunnies. Two of them have little um, lambs. All of them have this little bunny card. So these are from vintage um, rummy and like old maid games, stuff like that. Um, can't remember exactly the names. There's a little uh, Peter Rabbit little uh, journaling card in there. There's these two little journaling cards that came from a digital kit. So you'll get all of those. And then you'll get uh, two coat check tags, inventory tags. Um, you will get guest check, a glassine bag. You'll get the bigger glassine bag that all this goes in. You get two pieces of these little um, sort of school writing things that you can make into pockets or tabs or tucks. You get some tickets, yellow, pink, and orange. So there's um, 10, 10 of each of those tickets. You get one of these really cute little um, sort of like postcards. 
with the little boy and girl on there. So you, you would do the from and the two and put your stamp there and put your little note on the back. I thought they were adorable. And then a couple of the little um, bunny carrot notes. Each one has a vintage Easter card in it or a bunny card of some kind. I think most of them are Easter. That's the one that goes in here. And I was gonna clip that in because I clipped it in the other ones or one of them. Another little guest check, two flashcards and a little bag. Um, I just folded these up. You can cut this off. You can cut this off and stitch it. You can use it as a background. You can put it in your journal. You can just add things to it. Um, put it in the back of your book. So many things you can do with that. I'm gonna put this back in the bag. I'm not gonna worry about clipping it back in. So that all goes in here and back in here. So each one of them have the same number the same number of things, and why are you not going in there? Each one has, you know, one of these and the same number of items and similar but different, so to speak. Um, those things like the guest checks, of course, all that stuff's the same. Um, each one has four signatures. Two of them I did with the white thread and two of them I did with the blue. I think I did cottontail with the blue thread. Yeah. Um, this one has the blue linen thread. Four signatures, about 80 pages in each one. Includes the whole book. Um, just adorable. So, this little book right here, I just, oh my gosh, I love the illustration. I love the illustrations in all of these. I think they're, they're some of my favorite little um, bunny books. This one is, the original copyright is 1951. This is the 1969 edition and you probably can't see that i'm not gonna struggle with my camera to focus i literally just came home from work and i got all the listings done um this morning and um i had them finished up last night but i just didn't get a chance to record them so each one has a little bunny that i backed on file folder that's intended for you to glue in as a little tuck spot, or you can do whatever you want to do with it. Um, same type of pages. This particular paper right here is a drawing paper. It's not just a regular craft paper. It is meant for um, pencils and chalk and whatever, you know, whatever kind of stuff you want to draw on here with, writing on it, whatever. So it's, uh, it's a really nice paper. And then there's Ledger. There's Richard Scary pages. This is some really nice, um, almost like a linen-y type. It's a really nice paper. Um, nice white paper. Some vintage music. Some vintage Ledger. The book pages are all sewn in so that you can, you know, you can flip them, you can read the whole story. Um, this is from another nursery rhyme book. This one says, where, where go the boats? Really nice, thick paper. This is really nice paper. And lots of space around here where you can journal, you can keep the image, you could add photos, add, you know, whatever you want. Here's one of the tags that I made for this one. I used a lot of the little uh, felt flowers in here. Love this little bunny. I think they all turn out super adorable. Um, here's another image from that little 365 story. I showed a couple of these, I think, in the last video. Richard, other side of Richard Scary with the little fox and the cats and the chicken. <laughs> yeah. Each one does have a envelope made out of a Peter Rabbit book page. And in each one of these, you will get a bunch of KB and Friends um, printables that I cut out, that I fussy cut personally. So there's a flower, there's some birds, there's a little um, journaling card. 
There's the little rabbits on the train. Uh, a wonderful day, a little speech bubble, a deer, a little thing that says enjoy the moment, some uh, four little tickets. That's those are tickets. That's not KBM friends. Um, two of them have smile, and then the other two have green. Uh, have a green card that says happy, and then this little um, journaling card with the little girl. So that. That comes in that envelope. And pretty much, the, pretty much the same things in each. The envelopes are different because they're from different pages, but the same things, uh, same number of things in each one. More Richard Scary, little Mail Man. Love these pages from this book where they're painting the eggs. Look, they're just adorable. Just adorable. And these pages, these pages in these books are really nice. Um, that nice thicker paper. They're so cute. I had a few pages left from a, a Peter Rabbit cookbook. I had to kind of cut them off to make them fit, but I think the little images are cute, so I put them in there. It's a piece of black cardstock. This is from uh, Ideals Magazine about Easter. So um, each one has something with all these little bunnies on it. They're so cute. I love the way these books came out. They're flexible, like most of my books are. Some more of that really nice sort of resume paper. Um, lots of critters in here. Here's a, uh, I did the hidden paper clip. So this one has the circle and it has the little bunny reading here. Apologies for my light. I literally just got home. And then this came from a, um, I think it's a Dr. Seuss dictionary. And this was a little garden. I just made it into a little tag. And then on the back is the little envelope with the heart closure. And I tried not to glue them together. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you can put some things in there. Um, I didn't put anything in the little envelope. Here's uh, one of the pages from the 365 story a day book. Each one has two, um, two little things that I made for pockets, but I just clipped them in. So this one, is the little girl with the lamb. And I put some washi tape and we'll, I stitched around all of them. I, I backed them onto file folder, stitched around them and put some fabric washi and one of those little felt flowers. <clears throat> Just a book. Book page. So this has Grandpa Bunny in it too. So this story and Grandpa Bunny are the same story with the same illustrations. Only this one's called the Bunny Book, Bunny Book, and the other one is called Grandpa Bunny. It's a little worm in the apple. <laughs> this is the other side of the um, Ideals page. And then here's another tag that I made. This one I put, um, I stitched around it, and then I put a little label and some fabric washi and one of the flowers um, from KB and Friends, and then punched a hole and put some pink twine in here. Just kind of give you an idea of what's in each book. Here they are um, painting stuff in the snow. So they go from spring to winter. This is some vintage wrapping paper with bunnies on it. If you can see that. <clears throat> These just turn out super fun. Um, lots and lots of lots and lots of fun stuff on here. The little bunnies are painting the bugs. <laughs> 
some more Richard Sperry on the other side, more ledger music. Um, this is from a really cool uh, friendship book that Tamara sent me, and there were just some really pretty images in that. So I'll put a page from, um, I put one page from that book in each one of these. Some tracing paper. Here is another um, bunny that you can use as a tuck, um, you know, or a pocket. You can glue her in. You know, use that as a tuck spot. Some, there's Childcraft. There's a Childcraft page in each book. This one is the swing. Card stock. And the other side. It's another piece of that drawing paper. <clears throat> so that's the third signature. Here's the fourth signature. So, uh, Grandpa is talking to all his little baby bunnies. <laughs> Some vintage dictionary. More vintage, uh, Reader, dictionary, some tea dyed paper. Here's the other pocket in this one, which is from a child craft. And this is called Three Plum Buns. And I put some vintage feed sack, rip rack, and a little button there. One of those little felt buttons. Same thing. Clip it in so you can put it in here as a pocket. You can use it as a tag, however you want to use it. I just felt like um, rather than gluing everything in, I would just give you the things and let you decide where you want them. So there's a Richard Scary envelope from another book. Tons of space, tons of fun stuff in here. Um, that's the end of the book. And then I signed each one of them down here at the bottom. Okay. That is the bunny book. I'm gonna move this stuff over here. Yep, and I'll just dump top of it. Oh, you could have closed And here is the Whispering Rabbit which is one of my favorites as well. I love this book. I've been hoarding this book for a long time. And here's a little charm on here. So there's the bunny, some fun little pink beads, um, really cool vintage buttons. This one's got the ladybug on it. There's the chicken and the heart. Some other pretty glass beads. There's the little bunny and the little turtle. This one would also be really cute with the pom-pom trim. Here is the tie. So you can see I added some of the, some more pinks, um, a little bit lighter colors on the, on this one. A really pretty tie. I love this fabric right here. And I think, I can't remember if Jen sent me that or if Carrie sent me that, but I want to know where you got that fabric because I love that fabric and I want more of it. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> so y'all let me know. And then, um, so here's the little pack here. And you can see back here. And this one has the, this one does have the bunny, the bunny page in it. Okay. I'm not going to pull all that out. <laughs> So, all right. So this book is adorable. Now you can see um, somebody had put a sticker or something right here. I'm not messing with that. I gave you a library pocket. I'm giving you the option to cover that with whatever you want. I do think that the um, the little bunny. Where's the bunny? In here. Okay, it's in here somewhere. I thought I put them all at the front of the book. Anyway, <clears throat> I think that little cutout bunny would be really cute right here too. But this book is adorable as well. This original copyright was 1948 and this is a 1992 copy. These pages though are just as nice. They're not 
white as thick as the other ones, but they're close. Um, and this one was illustrated by Margaret Wise Brown. Oh, the book is by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Cindy Zacharies. I don't know how to say her last name, y'all. Um, this is the 50th anniversary of Little Golden Books printing of this one. But look at the illustrations in this, y'all. It's just, they're just amazing. Look at the detail. Do you see the little bees on the flowers and the butterfly? And there's a little turtle and there's a frog and there's a grasshopper. I mean, just the, <clears throat> these illustrations are really cool. Um, another Richard Scary book. Here is the Happy Easter Nana card in this one. And it just has that on the back. Isn't that adorable? They're all really cute vintage cards. And that same kind of paper. So I'm just going to kind of flip. Flip pretty quick. There's the bunny. It's so cute. There's a tag. Um, this one has a donkey and the bird. There's the bunny. So that's why I thought this bunny would be really cute, like right here. If you could put him, put him right here, or put a little this book belongs to thing there. Anyway, there's a little bunny there. Just so you can see the same types of things in each book. Gotta stop for a minute though and let you see the illustration. So the sto this story is the little rabbit, the little rabbit gets a bee, a bee goes down his throat. So the squirrel's looking in his throat, trying to see if he can see the bee. It's a really cute little story. Here's the, um, one of the pockets here from the Childcraft book. And this book's from the 40s. Those Childcraft images um, are from... Uh, I think it's 1945 or 47, but same types of papers. Here, I think the, um, I don't know if that's a gopher down in his hole trying to decide if he should come out. Yeah, groundhog, excuse me. Here's the Childcraft page called Buds and the Crocus. Here is the bunny envelope. And each one, if I didn't mention, each each signature just have the little buttons, little vintage buttons in each signature, like I normally do in most of my books. Well, if I could turn a page, I'll Here is the paper clip. This one has a little girl holding her little bunny doll. And then a little frog card. I try to keep it pretty, you know, spring, springy, kind of critter oriented. There's the ideals page with all the bunnies. Um, there is a piece of wallpaper in this one and another one. I only had two pieces of that. So unfortunately it's just those two books that got the wallpaper. There's another little um, bunny at the door. Here's one of the other journaling cards. There's the little pocket. The other little pocket from the Childcraft book. There's the little bunny. Cute little bunny. So you 
get the idea. I'm fumble fingers, y'all. Fumble fingers. Um, that's from the little 365. And then this is the book from the book page from the other book um, with the really nice thick pages. This is another nursery rhyme book. And she's on the swing. <clears throat> really, really nice paper. I'm going to say that again. I might say it three or four more times, y'all. There's this small tag with a little duck with the rabbit on his back. And then that's the end of the, that's the end of the, end of the book. That's the back. And you can take, if you want to cover that up, you can take some of that washi and cover up the skew because this is a newer printing of this book. But I just love it. Love it, love it. That is the Whispering Rabbit. And then we'll do, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We'll do Cottontail. And I know, y'all, this is a long video, but I don't want to break it up into two. Um, um, I want to get these done. I need an administrative assistant. <laughs> Who wants to be my administrative assistant? Okay, so here's the little bag here. And um, same things in that. Same things in here. This one has butterflies. Yeah, this, this one has a butterfly board. Okay. And then here's the tie on this one. So you can see it's similar. Similar to the first one, the bunny book. Okay. And then here's the charm. This one has a little mushroom on it. And then buttons, glass beads, the heart, the chicken, the bunny, that bunny. <laughs> really cute. This one is adorable as well. Now this one had, um, there's a check mark here. Somebody, um, Put a check mark there for some reason. And then um, this book belonged to David C. But you can cover that up. And then uh, original copyright on this book was 1960. And this is the 1969 edition. And pictures by Lillian Obligado. And I can't say any of these names, y'all. Imagine that. So same stuff. There's the little bunny. This is one of the little images I cut out. Um, I didn't have, so there was two bunnies in the last one, the bunny at the door. Um, I didn't have another bunny like that. So I put this one in here. This one has ice cream and the other one has, grandpa bunny has something different. But this I cut out of, um, I put it on the back of a file folder so you can use it as a tuck. Um, and it's sturdy. <clears throat> I thought he was cute with the ice cream. That came out of that dictionary. There's the bunny page from the ideal book. This one's adorable too. Look at the illustrations in this. This is mother and her little baby. So these would also, I mean, these would make great, them great spring summer journals. They would make great Easter journals if you just want to document Easter for several years. Um, they would make great baby books, you know, just anything. Here's the page from that really nice um, rhyme book. There's the bunny page from the other side of the, from the ideals. Here's a little tag, and this looks like a grandma with her grandchildren and some kind of food, and they're in the little wagon being carried by the donkey. So, me going over to Grandma's house. There's a little boy eating ice cream. No, what's he eating? Looks like he's eating something um, sitting in the garden. There's your 
bunny um, envelope. I love these bunnies that are painting. Um, here's your little um, porcupine, the birds, the bunnies. Here's the paper clip. This one has goose, geese. And then the back side. Okay, this is the one that has the wallpaper in it. But <laughs> I think this little Mouse is having a little chat with his children. <laughs> Envelope. <clears throat> look at the, look how detailed these are. All of these books, like the detail, the detail in them is just amazing. And y'all know, y'all know I can't resist. Look. So. Yep, they're in the garden, eating the stuff they're not supposed to be in, I'm sure. Oh, for crying out loud, though. But seriously, I hope you guys like these. Um, I hope you love them as much as I do, and I hope they find their forever home, because I just love how they turn out. I think they're super fun. Super, super fun. And here's a bigger um, page. I did a uh, little Bo Peep and her sheep. That's another pocket. I really did have a lot of fun pulling all this together. And I, I do love how, I do, I love how everything came out. The tags and everything. <clears throat> and just, you know, pretty good variety of different papers. It's not all bunny rabbits, but there's a lot of it. No. That, was hung on. that did not tear. That was hung on something. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, um, the other little pocket. It looks like a, I can't tell if that's a little, looks like a little boy playing a flute. It could be a little girl, though. Yeah, really cute. Sitting by the tree. And then, <clears throat> here's a swing song. This one has the little boy in it from the child craft book. So a good majority of this is repurposed stuff, um, except for the few, the few pieces of cardstock and um, scrapbook paper in it. Oh, and the drawing paper. It's not repurposed. So that is little Cottontail. I'm gonna set him over here. And Grandpa Bunny. <clears throat> now Grandpa Bunny, I had to do some work to him. So, those are the little thank you cards that will go with these. So, here's the tie. So, you can see this tie is very similar. This one actually is just a tad bit longer than the other ones. I didn't do very good measuring, but it's a little bit longer. And then, he's really cute. Now, he's got more... He's got more love and wear and tear to him. It's this kind of faded, this sort of faded pink. And then I used another cover on the back and I covered the, the inside with craft paper here and signed it here. So it doesn't match this side. And this had some, this had another sticker in it too that someone had pulled out. So 
you're probably going to want to cover that up. Or if you're not, you know, if you don't worry about that, you can leave it like that. But this one, I wasn't able to save the spine of this book. So it's six by eight instead of six and a quarter. So I cut the pages, I cut the pages a little bit in these, in this one. But here's the uh, charm. There's your bunny. Some really pretty vintage buttons and some really pretty little glass beads. And there's your chicken and your bunny and your turtle your heart but the you know the beads are different the beads and buttons are different on each one so really cute <clears throat> so this particular version this had a couple more pages in it which confused me a little bit so this actually is a 1951 copy of this book Okay, and I was trying to remember if it wasn't, and it was, it was actually a first edition. It was an A, but it wasn't in the greatest shape. Out The pages were in decent shape, but the book itself was not. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have taken it apart. Um, anyway, here's a little package. And then this one has, I think this one has, the, yeah, this one has the flowers. So cute, but I have it like I didn't read through both stories, but you'll see if you sit through the whole video and you look at, yeah, see this one has the little bear and the alligator playing a game of cards. Oh, that was cute. And then this one has a little bit different bunny. Um, he almost looks like the Alice in Wonderland bunny from the Ideals book. See, I don't remember like Bunnyville being in that one. Here's the page from the other um, nursery rhyme book with the boy in the tree. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the look at the illustration of the dogwood. They did such a great job um, years ago. The illustrators, I don't know the colors and the texture of the pages, and it's just not like that today. There's Grandpa. You see, there they are painting the egg. So that was in there. Here's your bunny envelope with Peter Rabbit. There they are painting the egg. See, I just don't remember, like, some of these. I, I don't remember. I'd have to go back. And I'm going to try to flip through this one a little quicker. Here's a pocket here, which is breakfast time. <clears throat> um, well, it's, tucked, it's paper, paper clipped here for you to use as a pocket. Okay, this page is different. They're painting the leaves. The other one, they were painting the bugs. I wonder if there's, oh, yeah. yeah. There's a couple more pages in this particular story. So they must have adjusted at some point. This is one of the tags. This is another one of the tags. So these are butterfly cocoons. So <laughs> they're waiting. They're waiting for the butterfly to come out of the cocoon. Oh, there they are painting the bugs. Yeah. But this is a little bit different. And there's the um, child craft in this one. The wind. Start to lose my light a little bit. I hope I can see it's okay. And then this one says the world. And you can always cover this up if you don't want to keep that. You don't have to use it as a pocket. Like I said, you can use these as tags. 
um, however you want. I was just trying to give you your own options, and I think I said that like five or six times now, too. There's a little um, mama and his baby there. So that's the same, and that's the same, and that's the same. Um, here's your little uh, paper clip. And this one, I think, has grasshoppers. This little tag. Yep. Grasshoppers hopping. And then the green envelope. Yep. There's another tag. It's like a little girl gathering berries. I love this um, of the cats like fishing and they catch like lobsters and crabs and stuff and everything but the fish. <laughs> like they catch a, there's one where they, um, one where they catch a, um, like a tire or something. <laughs> That's funny. Another envelope. Oh, um, let's see, this would be a great journaling page when you have one of those days where nothing happens. <laughs> the day that nothing happens. I have days like that. Do y'all have days like that? And then that's the last page there. Adorable. If I didn't say say myself, I think they all turn out super adorable. And um, <clears throat> they are in the shop. If you are interested, let me pull the other two back over here. You got to put all the goodies back together in the one. Yep, a spring rabbit, a little cottontail, grandpa bunny, and the bunny book. I got to put those things back in. Yep. Here we go. And as always, um, yeah, I know this was a long video, guys, and I apologize, but, um, you know, I want you to see each one of them. I try not to, I try not to ramble too much, but I know I do. Um. I just want you to see how super adorable they all turned out. And um, as always, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for buying my journals. Um, thank you to all my friends out there. I love you guys. And I will see you soon. I've got some other stuff. i got some happy mail I need to share. So hopefully next couple of days I'll have some other videos. Um, and I did do a couple of ring bound ones too. I'm not quite finished with those yet. So I'm going to see if anybody's interested in these before I go doing a whole lot more, you know, putting a whole lot more bunny stuff in the shop. But anyway, <clears throat> love you guys. See you soon. Bye.